my name is Dr. Leo Yvonne Alcorn. I'm a postdoc here at University of Toronto, and I study galaxy clusters. Originally, when I entered college, I was in the fermentation science program of University of California, Davis. I wanted to make beer for a living. And I took an astronomy class for non-majors just for fun, because I've always loved astronomy. Who doesn't? But then, something changed my life in that course. I learned about something called gravitational lensing. I learned that, that mass literally warps space-time. And that's amazing. <laughs> I thought, this can't be real. And then the professor showed us pictures of gravitational lensing. It was real. So I, I figured I needed to change my major and learn a bit more about this. I originally didn't become an astronomer in college because I thought that I wasn't very good at math. But after I learned about gravitational lensing and decided to change my major, I had a big math catch-up to do in comparison to all of my peers. But I managed to do it. So I just spent extra time, spent summers learning about calculus, and I caught up with everybody. It turns out that there aren't math people and non-math people. It's just that you have to be willing to put in the time to learn the math. And I wanted to study galaxies so much that I was willing to put in the time. So if you think you're not a math person, you could be. As I started studying more math, I learned that it wasn't just simple arithmetic and solving equations. Math is actually very creative and intuitive. And there's a lot more to it than what you think math is until you start studying more advanced math. Then you can start learning about set theory, you can start learning about vector calculus, and all of those are actually quite fun. I found math became fun when I started taking physics and astronomy courses, because then I could actually apply all this math that I had learned to an actual physical system. And I found that part to be very fun, actually. My area of research in particular is galaxy clusters and how they affect members of galaxy clusters, so the galaxies that fall into these galaxy clusters. I'm currently writing a paper about something called a brightest cluster galaxy. This is a galaxy in the center of a galaxy cluster. Brightest cluster galaxies are very different from other types of galaxies because they're a lot bigger and they actually combine with all of the gas of the galaxy cluster Galaxy clusters are filled with this hot gas called the intracluster medium. And it's hard to distinguish the light and the gas of a brightest cluster galaxy versus the innermost parts of this intracluster medium. And there's constant exchange between the intercluster medium and the brightest cluster galaxy. And that's something that I'm studying in particular right now. I've learned that I really like talking to people about astronomy. So I'm really excited to do more in the way of teaching. I'm teaching my first course this coming semester and I'm so excited about it. So I'm hoping that in the future there's going to be a lot more teaching and helping students. My advice if you're interested in studying astronomy is really to get involved in research pretty early. Uh, when I started in astronomy, I contacted a professor to do work with her, and I was able to get a taste for what research was like, and I learned that it was for me. Additionally, I've also helped uh, other undergraduate astronomers do research projects. It's very fun. It's a great way to apply the skills that you're learning in your classes and uh, apply them to current research. When you email professors about research opportunities, it's okay to email more than once. Just so you know, professors love when you email them all the time. And because of that, get to know your professors. Professors like to talk to undergraduates and graduate students about astronomy.